Hey YouTubers, Charles Rowe here. Uh, thank you for watching today's tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed that short one minute little uh, uh, special short film that I made. Uh, today I was just hanging out with my brother and my nephew went to a laundromat, and I was like, hey, you know, why don't I gather footage for today's tutorial, since I was going to talk about how to do slow motion. So without further ado, let me explain kind of how we uh, we kind of made that. Uh, basically, uh, I grabbed all my clips that I was going to use, and I actually edited the whole thing inside uh, um, After Effects. But you can do the slow mo in After Effects, render out, and actually edit in Final Cut if you like. Um, but to each his own. So the first thing you do is uh, select your first video file, and before we even make a composition, we have to uh, make sure that your file, uh, the video file was actually uh, recorded in 59.94 frames per second, or in other terms, 60 frames per second. That way we can convert your uh, your video into, um, you could do it in 30 frames per second, you could do it to 20 frames per second, how many frames per second you want, and it will like double the length or triple the length of the video and turn it to slow-mo. Um, so what you do is you right click, go to interpret footage, and click on main. And this will bring up the interpret footage um, window which will allow us to change that particular video in any way we want to. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to conform to frame rate. Um, it's also going to say uh, a little warning sign, audio may not synchronize. Um, that's something that you have to be cautioned with. Um, but for this video, as you can tell, there was no audio. It was just a little music track uh, being played over top of it. Uh, it doesn't matter. We can go ahead and change it to whatever frame rate we want to, and we'll be fine. So what I did was I changed it to a 24p, which is uh, equivalent to uh, 23.976. And everything else I didn't change. I left 23.976 as a new frame rate, and just press OK. And now what that did was it took our video file that was originally about, I think it was 45 seconds long, and doubled the length to 1 minute and 53 seconds long. And what that does is um, it's saying, okay, the original file was 60 frames per 1 second. What we did was we took the first 24 frames and made those 1 second, which made the next 24 frames one second and then there was um, let's see 24 24 that's 48 there was 12 more frames left over that were comprised of another few uh, seconds um, and so once you do that to the first video file it's really easy to do the rest all you do is right click go to interpret footage on the first video file you did this to go to uh, interpret footage remember interpretation then select all the other video files and you could do them all at the same time just um, select the first one, hold shift, go down to the bottom one, and we'll select all the video files. Go ahead and right click it, interpret footage, and apply interpretation. Now every single um, piece of footage that you ha have already imported um, is now going to have the slow-mo effect on them. Um, and as you can see up here, it now says 23.976 frames per second. And so it's that simple. Um, if you wanted to, you can either take the footage and just open it inside of a new composition. Um, and as you can see, the color in here is actually a lot different than the color that you saw in the video. And that's just because I wanted you know play around with the settings and the color correction. I'm still getting used to the Canon 60D, playing with uh, aperture, shutter speed, things that I don't normally do. I mean, I'm a producer and an editor. Usually the clips come to me and I just put them together and make things happen. Um, but I'm really stretching out of my comfort zone, really understanding and comprehending how to use a camera. So, uh, you know, uh, excuse me if the quality isn't the best. But um, nevertheless, uh, you can either drag the video file into a timeline or to, into a new composition. Um, you can edit inside here and then obviously go to composition add to render queue and then you know just play with the settings here and render it out to your desktop or another folder or or you can just render it out by selecting the video file going to composition add to render queue and then it'll send it to the render queue it's already in the render queue so I don't need to send it again um, and it'll just render out that video file with its new settings uh, to wherever you want it to go you can keep the audio you can get rid of the audio and then you can edit it in whatever program you want to use whether it's Final Cut, Avid, Adobe Premiere, iMovie, uh, Windows Movie Maker anything you want to use you can um, but it's just that simple so 
Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message, shoot a comment below, or contact me at charlesroad.com. Uh, I'd love to answer any questions you have and help you out with anything that you would like to know. So uh, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.